If you use the internet this week, you'll know that bots are infiltrating Rocket League. Now, I've been using this technique to catch Smurfs, which if you haven't seen it, go check out my last two videos. But I've realized that this method can also help us investigate the real accounts behind these bots. We can find out what their actual rank is, if they're boosting, and who. So what I have here is a lot of tabs. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the people who always have way too many tabs open, that is me. But what these tabs are is these are all accusations from either Twitter or Reddit. YouTube? No, that's the Apparently Jack video. Uh, he has a lot of really good tips on how to spot these bots. So uh, I would definitely recommend checking this video out. I think his is probably my favorite. So I started with this dude Galactic Yellow Teen, but not spelled properly. <laughs> he did not turn on... <laughs> ball cam at all in this entire game there are times where it's like how does he know where the ball is and he's still going for it it's kind of insane like this catch without seeing the ball is is inhuman uh, no one who is an actual player can do that basically just searched his name and it came up as this and six rl quick 10 second recap of this method basically i go on to ballchasing.com which if you're on the pc with bacchus mod you can have it auto upload all of your rocket league replays then i can just search for any replays that include a certain player and because there's tons of people that auto upload their replays to bacchus mod i can use usually find quite a few games. From there, I can find out a ton of juicy information about their accounts, and with some brain cells, I can often find their real account if they were using a smurf. A few replays are uploaded, none of them are by him, but one of them is by his teammate. So he did queue up with someone. So what I want to find out is this dude here that he's queued with, and if that's his friend, or some dude that he's boosting, or even his main account. So we know for sure that he's using a bot here. But was he using a bot here? All right, already the guy's wiggling his camera. I'm pretty sure bots don't do that, ever. Okay, he is playing normally. Yeah, he, he almost missed that. Uh, I can see why he's using the bot. Yeah, this is almost certainly not a bot. A few things that apparently Jack mentioned, again, awesome video. Number one, there's never a goal celebration or they rarely even move their car after the goal is gold <laughs> scored uh number two there's always some kind of janky movement there's usually some insane ground play weird kickoffs and a few other things but i'm just seeing nothing i want to take a look at the other one this is going to be the kicker does this dude only hack or did he only do it for these two games. Uh, now, these are the only two games that were uploaded. That doesn't mean he was only hacking now. These were all uploaded by his opponents, so we don't know how many games he played as the bot. Camera swivel already. Usually means it's not a bot. So he's doing speed flips. Apparently the bots are really bad at fake challenging. He does have ball cam on though, and the bot that he was using didn't turn ball cam on ever. Okay, so that's just a missed shot. Bots don't miss those shots. Uh, maybe they do, but it seemed pretty bad. <laughs> Yeah, so far does not look like a bot. I think this dude's now playing back to his actual level, which is ironic because this is champ two. And when he was doing the bot, <laughs> it was in champ one. So why do you need the bot to beat players worse than you, bro? Like just play on your actual account. Guilty for sure. Like we know for a fact that he was doing it and he switched his name <laughs> so that people didn't find out it was him, but I found out it was him. This is the dude's real, real name. Let's see if we can find more information on some other people and maybe an actual like steam account which would be awesome just a reminder to those of you who haven't seen the catching a smurf series what i find a lot with these people is that they will use their epic smurf but because they're still signed in on bacchus mod it will auto upload their replays to ball chasing which is what i'm using here uh, and it will use their steam account so then i can go to their steam account and find out who they actually are which is awesome and that's the hope is to find Find out some real information about at least one of these guys. So Tenacity actually figured out that one of the guys who's using these bots in the lobby is this dude, legit RL Pro on TikTok. Uh, I believe his name in game is also legit RL Pro. Apparently, he's been trolling a lot of pro players and like getting into their games and then just throwing or something like that. So just like very low class like humor. But I want to see if we can find out more about his account. Okay, I found something. So he's been playing with this guy hazy a lot a lot a lot so they must be queued together yeah so it looks like they're they're double stacking so these are random players i wonder if this is still hazy and he changed his name let's see yeah hazy yeah okay so he's been playing with this dude hazy a lot now the real question is is he hazy <laughs> 
because if this dude is using a bot and playing with Hazy, then the bot is his second account and Hazy is his main account and he's just like trying to boost himself up or something. Wait, I just realized this is a different account. Wait, this is a Steam account. This is a Steam account, but he's still playing with Hazy. This might be his real account. Dude, I feel like this guy has so many accounts. Like here he's silver. Okay, I've... <laughs> I went way too deep on this guy. I've already found two of his Steam accounts. Like these are both him, probably. Uh, this one may be a little less likely. This one makes so much sense because I know he trolls a ton of pro players like Com's boyfriend. I'm sure he was just like stream sniping these guys and then changing his name to this. Totally fits the bill. I think his name is this. S7, which looks really familiar. I feel like I've seen that somewhere. Yeah, I feel like this was his main name, which looks and sound. Wait, Koalasaurus? Wait a second. I think I know this guy on my Discord. Oh my gosh. I do know this guy. Look at these messages. Uh, sorry, this is when I was a new YouTuber. It's shameless, okay? I, I'll admit it, <laughs> but like, whatever. Dude, this is four years ago. This is wild that I have DMs with this guy from four years ago. Yeah, man, the dude was like active in my Discord. Nice guy, like said Merry Christmas to everyone out of nowhere. That's the thing, people make super decisions, like make mistakes, like I, I hope if anything, like yeah, I'm trying to figure out more about these guys and suss out who they actually are, but also like they're human, like let's not just attack people for, for cheating in a game. The thing I want to come out of this the most is that people are held accountable and learn from it and grow and be better, and that's it. That's all we can ask for. I think we need to constantly give people the opportunity to grow because I think that's human beings are very capable of extreme levels of growth. At least I personally believe that. This got really deep. Anyways, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to approach him without seeming sus at first and see if I can get into a call with him and maybe get some info. That'll maybe be in the next video. For now, let's just move on to new guys. Okay, editor flow state here. So I actually did get in touch with this guy and I think I got a little hasty. I didn't actually check any of his replays. It turns out legit RL Pro is a lot more popular than I thought. And so a lot of people are impersonating him and this dude was doing that just for fun. But just wait, because this conversation that I had with this dude turned into something I did not expect. He taught me about a wild underground organization that's going on right Right now in Rocket League, I don't think anyone has any clue how bad this is. It is potentially more game breaking than the bots and I am going to expose all of that in another video. But at least something came out of this one. Simu RL is our next possibility here. Definitely looked very body in these games. Let's see the kickoffs. Kickoffs are always kind of weird. Yeah, they never really flip for kickoffs. It's always like a delayed kickoff with insane reaction and then just good catching and dribbling. You can tell they don't flip until the other person has actually like hit it in that direction, which is crazy. Oh, bot I guess bots can miss open nets. Uh, yeah, the reaction time is insane. And the dribble, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, very suspicious. Simo RL, let's take a look for this guy. But yeah, this guy <laughs> uploaded it and he was like, bot? All right, so I did some searching. I have a few games in a row where he plays with this same guy for ducks. Could be his main account and he's boosting himself up. Could be someone else that he's trying to boost or it could just be a friend uh, and it could give us some information on who the dude's actual account is. Let's look at one of these games that he won. All right, does this look body? No, this does not look body because the bots don't air roll. Yeah, you, you just don't see it. It's just not that sloppy with bots. It looks like an actual like champ two, I think is the rank that he's playing at. Yeah, none of this, none of this looks like a bot. We're gonna find another one. No camera swivels. That looks a little weird. Yeah, that looks weird. And I'm pretty sure bots double commit on the kickoffs a lot because that would make sense. Not a good shot, but it, it looks like he's reacting to things like very weirdly. All right, this one's confusing me. <laughs> I'm not sure. That, that like pre-jump looks very body. The thing that he does where he like goes up and like doesn't realize that his teammate's gonna 50 the ball. That, okay. That looked very body and that looked way better than anything he's done so far. Oh, I forgot to check. No goal celebrations, right? No celebrations after the goals. Yeah, does not move at all after the goals, which is usually an indicator. 
Jack said the same thing. Sometimes the, the only thing that they'll do is just hold on to boost the whole time. This might actually be him botting too. Again, this weird flip thing. No one does that. No human being tries to pre-jump this. Like, what is the point? You're not, you're never gonna get anything other than waste your boost. This looks so suspicious. Yeah, it's, uh, that was, again, like a really good catch and flick and that's what the bots are really good at. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that he's he's botting. Now, I actually wanna see how that compares to the, to the ones gameplay and see if it actually looks similar or if he's switching back and forth. Supposedly botting here, but he did lose this game, so we'll see. I do bots not know how to flip back over? <laughs> That's so weird. The thing is, the bots are weird because they're not perfect. They apparently do that a lot for some reason. I don't know if it's like a fake maneuver or something. Yeah, so they, they wait to do their second flip to the point where a human wouldn't be able to react that quickly, but a bot could. Yeah, that flick is just too good. It's just too good. And it, it goes into the middle of the net. Like, it's just too good. Hey, maybe I found a Steam account. I scrolled back a lot. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is, this is what I love about this technique. I, I would have been like, I, I can't really say it's the same guy, even though he has the same name, but he's playing with the same dude. Like, that's just that's just really really conclusive evidence maybe i like try to reach out to these guys i'm gonna add him on steam and see if he responds 2k hours uh, he has a game band on record i mean it was a long time ago but apparently he hasn't learned yet and right, i'm gonna add this guy all right next one this dude very good at flicking weird camera settings too yeah just really good catches and flicks and we always see it's like a it's like a side flip yeah these flicks are literally all the same they're perfect replicas of each other i do think this guy is probably botting so so now i have to figure out what this username is and type it into ball chasing noob pwn 69 420 <laughs> i just names get me man oh see this is what i love about this i love this i love this so i can click on his name and it can show me all the replays that this account played in and lo and behold i see one name next ov3 uh i scroll down and this is where so he he did this just once and i'm assuming this is him botting again let's take a quick look just to be sure uh, bot. <laughs> I, I, I don't have to see any more. Like, the, the bots have all of the exact same not human kickoff. No one does this for any reason other than the fact that they know that they can react in, in a split second way more than any human could. Oh, we just love to see the bot get sauced on. Let's go. <laughs> The bot's so weird, man. The, the, the movement is just just so weird. But uh, yeah, so bot, I'm, I'm not even gonna watch the rest of this. Not much else I can find out about this guy. Like he doesn't play with anyone consistently. Oh, okay, as I say that, I hadn't scrolled all the way down to the bottom yet. He is playing with this dude consistently, but this dude's also on an Epic account. We want the Steam symbol or we want some correlation between like the name and who it's uploaded by or at least the same guys uploading it over and over again i wonder if he's botting in both of these i don't even want to see that one i have others that i want to look at i am going to save that till next time i'm trying to get in contact with two of these guys and i'm also going to look at more replays in the next video if you have any replays with bots or smurfs join my discord send them to me i might review them on the channel and get you some justice but otherwise go practice